Letter Vs, a letter space view of electronic health records. This is an overview of Letter Vs, which consists of six different parts. Part A shows the user options for searching, rendering, and sorting. It also contains a color legend for 12 predefined text data categories, which is the default search query performed when letters are uploaded. User-defined search queries can be initiated from the search bar. Query history is shown on the right. Part B shows the matrix view and its color legend. The matrix view shows a co-occurrence matrix specifically for visualizing anti-epileptic drug co-prescriptions. Part C shows the drug chain view and its color legend. In the drug chain view, blocks representing multiple AEDs are linked in order of appearance in the corresponding letter. Part D shows the global view, the highest level of abstraction that shows all search term samples in letter space. Part E shows the thumbnail view, the second level of abstraction. Each juxtaposed thumbnail represents an individual letter. Part F shows the focus view, a summarized version of letters. It contains a detailed view of the letter in focus. Now, let's look into each view in detail. The global view is the first and highest level of abstraction that shows all data samples in letter space and their corresponding centroids extracted from the dataset in one superimposed letter space. In this case, we click the centroid for measurement. This triggers the rendering of edges to the corresponding individual data samples. And we could look at the difference in the centroid from that letter to the global picture and say maybe we don't trust this letter actually we might just want to err on the side of caution and maybe just not bring that prescription through on that particular letter. Uh, so I think the you know, ways of sort of getting an ideal global picture and when you add in letters, see how much they deviate from that. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Because that's one of the problems is how big to make your window for when you pick up terms. And this gives you an idea of the distance between two terms, doesn't it? The thumbnail view is a second level of abstraction. Each juxtaposed thumbnail represents an individual letter. Similar to the global view, a user clicks on a centroid to show each connection to individual samples. We render edges because they convey the area covered by a category of values in letter space. Data samples located further from the centroid often have a higher chance of depicting outliers. We provide three rendering options for centroid, individual sample, and edge in both the global and thumbnail views. Focus shows the data in color, context shows the data in grayscale, and height removes the data samples and edges. The focus view is the third level of abstraction that shows a summarized version of letters. Individual samples are highlighted. Lines without text data of interest are collapsed by default and can be expanded manually by clicking on the arrow glyph. We include a co-occurrence matrix for the exploration of common and unusual anti-epileptic drug co-prescriptions. Popular co-prescriptions are trivially observed when matrix view is sorted by co-occurrence frequency and are rendered in more distinct colors. The matrix view only indicates co-occurrence of pairwise drugs. We click on a matrix cell the drug chain view is generated. Each chain contains multiple AED blocks that are linked in order of appearance in the corresponding letters. This view aims to provide a visual representation of prescription progression and may unveil unique insights into epilepsy progression. And the answer is there, but I think it's spotting patterns that you that you wouldn't see otherwise, isn't it? That's that's the main thing, which we do all the time. Mm. Uh, spotting out layers that's really good mm -hmm. you know I, you might not have thought to think of looking at people who are on the tigabine and pregabalin which is a very strange combination I never thought of searching for that but if I could see new matrix that that's when I think oh I'm definitely going to look at that patient it looks good it does look good. You know, the size is about right as well, isn't it? You can see all the drugs there across the top and the sides, which is, which is perfect. 
Resort Letters by Total Edgelands. In the thumbnail view, letters with centroids sparsely placed often indicate an outlier. We expand the focus view to show the entire letter to confirm the finding. We select the Lamotrigine due to its popularity in code prescriptions to align the drug chain view. Letters without the AED are rendered as contacts. We sort the letters by alignment for further filtering. We identify one outlier immediately, letter 1 to 7, as it is the only chain starting with sodium valparate. We sort the letters by the number of AEDs and explore letters on both sides of the sort spectrum. We also observe outliers by color. A rare AED occurrence may indicate an outlier. We can also combine color mapping with sort by gender to identify outliers. A horizontal gray separator separates two genders. We perform a keyword search pregnant or pregnancy, and drugs. <clears throat> so that's, uh, that's interesting because, you know, if you get really granular on this, um, for example, um, you know, pregnancy and certain drugs, um, if, if you can spot from a bird's eye view that in some letters, uh, having mentioning things like, um, sodium valparate, which you shouldn't be taking if you're pregnant now, and uh, pregnancy, you would immediately want to read that letter because they're in close proximity, so something's not right. So I can see okay. this being really useful. Thank you for watching.